Hello. Welcome to Jack's cabin and country home. Right today, we're, as you can see, I'm not up north. I'm at my country home. I just thought I'd give you an introduction of my pigeons here. These are my racing pigeons. And it's well into the breeding season. So I'm going to just show you around here a little bit. I thought you might be interested in seeing some beautiful birds. Now, I've had pigeons since I've been about uh, 10 years old, 1960 or 61, and uh, so I've had them for 60 years. And I sold everything actually recently. And I actually gave them away. And then what I did with it, uh, I bought three pair of grizzles. I don't want to tell you what I paid for them. That's a grizzle right there and up there. But uh, what I did pay for them was in the hundreds. I bought three pair, and from that I, I got these birds here. Uh, my worst fear is when I die, my wife will sell the pigeons for what I said I paid for them. But, uh, anyway, I'll show you. There's uh, These are racing homers. And I've already started breeding. I've got some babies here. I've already sent two pigeons onto a one lap race, which I'll explain some other time about that. But, Look at this pair on the floor here. Grizzles, beautiful little babies. Now look at this pair here, eh? Hey guys, they got their bands on. I banded them when they were uh, around six days old. Oh, they're nice. And these are from Grizzles too, but sometimes the grandparents are blues and checks, so you get different things. And these are, look at this guy. Oh, you fight me off. Oh boy. He's fighting me. I'll better get away. And then there's a pair here. I think there's going to be a grizzle, maybe a pied. What do we got? We've got a lone blue here. That's a new pair. She only had the one bird, but nice little pigeon. And down there, I haven't banded them yet. I'll band them today. Come on, guys. <whistles> maybe I'll get a little food and you can get to see them. They're sassy. Out you go. Some guys won't have cats around their life, but I've had them for, we've been here for almost 32 years and I've never ever lost a cat, or I mean a pigeon to a cat. Not my own cat, anyway. They know, they know they belong here. They're smart animals. They've already been fed, but I'll just give them one more. They eat a lot more when they're hungry, when they're feeding baby birds like that. Come on. Now well, let's take a look at just the birds. There's a nice little blue bar right there. And that's the mother of this one here. She's a new mommy. That's Mr. B, I call him. Got him off of friend Brad. And that's his son right there. They're all related somehow. This is Miss G. She just comes from a really good family of pigeons. And a very successful racer up uh, London, Ontario, up that way. Anyway, I'll get into all the racing parts of it later, but I'll just show you around kind of an introduction today. This is my very first pigeon, 2113. My very first race I won back in the 80s. And she flew and it was over 100 degrees weather when she came home from a 250 mile race. I thought she was so late that I thought, you know, I did just took my time, took the band. In those days, we didn't have electronic clocks. And I put it in the clock, turned it, cranked it, took my time going down to the club, and here she, she took first place by, by one yard. Beat another racer by one yard. So I could have done better. There's just some other birds of mine. And here I just got a, this is where the hens will go. When I'm done breeding, the hens are going here. Right now I got a fantail. That's the hen. She's on eggs. Where's the boy? There's Papa. There he is out there. 
little blackbird, a little black fantail. The feathers are beat up right now because they've been breeding and, and molting and they're growing in, but they are beautiful birds. I don't show them or anything, I just like to keep them around. I got another pair or two, I'll give you. Come on, Sassy, out you go, I gotta go in here. This is where, I, where I'll put my young birds. I just got two right now from earlier breeds. Uh, that one and this check here. I'll probably, uh, I don't know if I'll keep them because I'm, I'm going to just kind of specialize in grizzles. But there's a fantail cockbird. And there's a hen I got. And I see they're starting to build a nest in here. So they're on their honeymoon. All right, these guys are nervous. They're not used to. What am I doing here? Pointing this thing at them. See, he's a nice bird. A beautiful pigeon. Yeah, I've been busy. I had a tree cut down here. I've been hauling all this wood and branches. I'll show you my rabbits before I close up here. That's why this mess is here. I've been hauling all this stuff. To, the tree was right here. I had it cut down and now I gotta clean up the rest of the mess. Thought I'd take a break today and show you a little bit about the pigeons. There's my Chanticleer chickens under the bus. Huh? See a big shadow over there. Is that a hawk? Anyway, I'll just give you it's Easter morning, so. We should take a look at the rabbits on Easter. This is Joseph. Oh, he's such a friendly boy. He comes from up uh, around around Chatham, Ontario. I got him when he was a baby. Oh, he's a good boy. This is Boris. He's not as big. Buck. He's not going to be that big, but he's still nice. And this is Glenny, and she's going to be going on her honeymoon today with Boris. Yeah. And this here's Dale. And she's a little nervous. I kind of leave her to herself. But she's going on her honeymoon today, too, with Joseph. So we'll have some. And about. 28, 29 days, 30 days, we're going to have some baby Flemish giants. And there's Rooster Cogburn, Chanticleer Rooster. That's a rare breed chicken. It's all we keep here is uh, some of the rare breeds. Anyway, I will let you go. And uh, if you enjoyed it, just give me a like. Uh, next week, I think we'll go into more about the racing. As, uh, part of it, aspects of, of racing pigeons. See you later. Oh, can you hear my country tunes there? <laughs> See you later. <laughs>